I do have a bunch of notes here. You know, uh, as a suggestion, you know, if the school wants to make some more money, what you want to start doing, I read the paper the other day, there are six different states in the United States that advertise on their school buses. That'd be one way to make money. I see it on the activities bus, you got Purcell's name on the back, and I don't know if this takes an act of uh, the state legislature to pass a law where you can advertise on school buses or not, I don't know. And another place to advertise, you know, would be in the school gym itself, you know, like on the floor and around the walls and so on and so forth. Uh, The field house, you know, seats around 1,500 people, and the bleachers out here is up around 940. Now, you all know how unsafe it is in that gym, and all it's gonna take one night is for some little kid along the side to get plowed into, hit his head on something, end up in the hospital and losing his life because we have a very unsafe gym. I'm 82 years old, and I have a hard time going up and down them steps because my equilibrium isn't near as good as it used to be. There's no place in there for senior citizens to sit down. And my wife never comes to games at all anymore because she doesn't want to come up here and battle it. The people of Lennox are not going to come up here to Madison anymore and find out the doors are locked. How long do you think you're going to put up with that? And that's why I'm telling you that I know a new gym would be nice. I'm fully aware of that. I wasn't born yesterday. But I'm trying to save a lot of money, and by doing it, if you can, like I told you before, you can stick that kind of money into the school area. Why not stick it in that gym? It may sound crazy to you when I say knock out that east wall. You got a bunch of dead space outside there anyway, nothing but grass there. And look at how many bleachers you can put up in there. And the same way on the north end, you push that out about another 50 feet or so, and you can see another four or 500 people up in there. And you know how kids are, they don't need a place to sit down. You take all the old bleachers out of there that are in there, you can put them up here in that north end, let the kids sit on them, they're happy with that. If you don't want to put them up there, you put them out there in the practice football field. You got nice seating on both sides. Yeah, I can just visualize all that stuff. Someday I'll have the best seat in that gym. I'll be up in cloud nine looking down. That's all I got to say for now. <laughs>